Gaffer, and breathe. That was a frantic afternoon. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? We said we were going to, we were looking forward to it, and we were going to come here and try and enjoy the game, which, which we did. We knew it was going to be an open game of football. Two teams who like to play the right way, and I felt we were excellent, um, especially in the first half. Thought we took the game to a switch. We went and pressed them, went high on on the front foot and forced their goalkeeper into loads of long balls. If anything, at half time, we just said, look, we can maybe pass the ball more, make more passes, because that'll be our best way to create more chances. But we kept going, second half again. I thought we played well, created an unbelievable chance that we should have scored from. Unfortunate to go behind the way we did. It looked like their goal might have been offside in the build-up for the corner. But we went behind and then we showed great character to come back into it and give our fans something to cheer. We were outstanding again, the fans, as, as usual. You often find in games like this where it's two teams at the top of the table, it can go one of two ways. Either both teams go a bit cagey, nothing really happens, or they both go for it. And that's what felt like happens today. It felt like both teams wanted to win the game. Yeah, th- definitely. I think um, the tactics today were slightly different to Bolton because of how Bolton's pitch was. We, did, we felt that to be expansive and pass the ball on that pitch probably wasn't a good idea. Here it's different. It's a, it's a lovely football pitch to play on. The, the system's um, against Ipswich, the way we play and the way they play. It matches up and it lends itself to a good game of football. And we just felt that we've got players that are as good as theirs. So let's go and take the ball, let's be brave, let's be positive and let's go and take the game to them and, and see if we can cause them a few problems. I think anyone who comes here and sits back and defends gets beat and we didn't want to do that. We fast forward to the end, you're a goal down going into nine minutes of stoppage time. I think the goal came about three minutes into it. You've got a player like Barley Mumba, he's the kind of player, you've got lots of players like that, but he's one of those players that can, that can pick something out and it was all about, as you say, being positive and, and believing towards the end. Yeah, and also we had a player on the pitch in Finn Azaz who picks the right pass and I'm so pleased for Finn, he's worked so hard to get back in. He's a week ahead of schedule, probably 10 days ahead of schedule and what we felt, what we thought from his injury. It was a tough call to put him on the bench but I think it's, it was the right call in the end. Um, obviously we had to leave Callum Wright out and, and Butch and James Bolton so it shows the strength in the squad but I'm so pleased for Finn because he just calms everyone down and then it was his pass that gets the ball to Bali who, yeah, produces another moment of magic, which we know he's capable of. And he's scored another great goal against these, which I'm sure all the Norwich fans will be delighted with. I'm sure they will. The Argyle fans as well, and you've already mentioned them, there was just over 2,000 in the away end, I think 29,000 in the whole ground. I know we've said this in the build-up, but if you can't get up for games like this, you just can't get up for any games, can you? But our fans were magnificent today, and indeed, and indeed as we're at switches. They were both sets of fans, credit to, the, to both clubs. Sold out here, um, thought they got behind their team really well. But our fans are just incredible. I mean, 600-odd mile round trip, whatever it is, it was packed, sold out. I didn't actually realise how far our fans went across until we scored the goal and we seen everybody <laughs> going wild. Uh, I'm so pleased for them that they got to um, watch their team today go and have, have a right good go. Like, obviously, we haven't won the game and, yeah, so we maybe could have won it on another day but they've seen the team give it all and show some courage to come to a big place like this in front of a packed out crowd huge pressure on us and play and try and express themselves and go for it so made up that they enjoyed it I'm sure they'll enjoy the journey back and we're still seven points clear of these which is amazing it is and just to just to sum up, just over seven days ago, we talked about what a big week it was in many ways. The journeys, the travel, the games. You've come out with two points from away games and going through to the semi-final of the Papa John's. That's a good week, isn't it? Absolutely. And again, that's exactly what I've just said to the players. If someone would have offered us unbeaten against Bolton in the semi-final and unbeaten against uh, Ipswich or Portland Road, it's been what was a really tough week, we'd have snapped our hand off for that. We would have said it. I felt we probably could have won here today, possibly could have won, maybe not could have won at Bolton, probably good fair point. Um, but it's important now that we go and try and beat Cheltenham because all this hard work this week will go for nothing if we don't put on, uh, recover well and put on a real performance at home next week and go and take three points off, off Cheltenham because that's a game we obviously will be expected to win. But the attitude's got to be right, the training standards this week's got to be right and if we get all that, the game plan right then hopefully we can, uh, we can pick up another huge three points.